Hey everyone, Mimsy here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a boxed seat cushion just like this one here with welt or piping and a zipper in the back. So you see the zipper in here, it's down here. So I will show you today how to put together this simple rectangular boxed cushion. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do when you're making a box cushion is to cut out your top and the bottom of your box cushion. So I've already got that cut out. And the way that you wanna measure your cushion, I have a video on how to properly measure for a cushion cover. I always make my cushion cover a half inch seam allowance just because it makes it so much easier for calculating is just to do a simple half inch. That means if your cushion cover is 23 inches wide, you just add one inch, a half an inch here, a half an inch here. I'm gonna cut this to 24 inches wide. It just makes it a lot simpler. With the welt, your welt is gonna basically, if you cut your welt the way I have in my welt video, and I'll link to, the, to my welt video, and I'll link to how to properly measure for a cushion cover, but your welt, if you cut it the way I do as a two inch strip, you're gonna have a 5 8 inch seam allowance here. I still only do my cushion cover a half inch larger because you want your cushion covers to be tight. When you're putting on a cushion cover, you want it to be really snug. You don't want any looseness in your cushion cover. So half an inch makes it easier and it fits better. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut your cushion covers out to the proper size like I've got here. You're gonna make your welt like I have in, this, in my welt video and I'll link to that. And then you're going to pin your welt to your top and your bottom. Now, this video is geared for people who just have a home sewing machine. If you have a commercial sewing machine with a walking foot, walking foot then you can just disregard this. You can skip a couple steps and just go ahead and sew your welt right onto your top. But if you're just a home sewer with a regular home sewing machine like I've got, you need to either pin your welt to your cushion cover, your cushion top and bottom, or you need to sew your welt on through your sewing machine upside down with your welt on the bottom and run it through your machine this way with your fabric on the top and your welt on the bottom. If you don't do it that way and you sew it like this without pinning on, you're gonna get that creep in your fabric and your welt and your fabric will end up getting puckered and you'll have a smaller top than what you cut out. It'll, it'll decrease the size of your cushion top if you don't pin it together because you'll get that, that sliding of your fabric. Your welt and your fabric don't go through the presser foot and the feed dogs at the same time. So just take my advice and if you're doing this at home on a home sewing machine, then pin your welt to your cushion cover. So I've got my two, my top and my bottom and I've got the welt pinned on, and I've got, this is where it joins. You can see the join here, where I've got it folded over and tucked, and you're gonna sew that so it's nice and nice and tight. And I think I've got another video for that that'll link you to. Anyway, so I've got these two pieces done. The next thing you're gonna do is cut out your boxing, which is the edge piece of your cushion this piece, the boxing right here. So you're gonna measure that, determine how, how much you need for that. It's probably four inches. So I cut my boxing five inches in order to allow a half inch on the top and a half inch on the bottom. So there's my boxing. Then you are going to make your zipper placket for the back of your cushion. This part, the zipper placket, where your zipper goes in. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Um, I have a video with detail zipper placket. Then, once your welt is actually sewn on to your top and the bottom, you're going to sew on your box pieces. Now, you could go ahead and pin on your box piece and sew your welt on at the same time. I do that just to save a step. But if you're new at this, you may want to just go ahead and sew all your welt on, then come back and sew your box pieces on. So as you can see, my box pieces are not going to fit, or, or not this one strip is not going to make it 
all the way down. So you've got to cut another and sew it to this end in order that your box piece will make it to the, to the back corners and then your zipper placket will come across the back, obviously. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do is cut this strip down in order to extend those two sides and then I will sew this box piece on to that. And I'm gonna bring you to the sewing machine and give you show you a little bit of detail here so you can see that in the corners of this box piece, in order to get the welt around that corner, you have to slit your fabric. You have to cut a slit in the fabric. So I'll take that pin out so you can see that a little bit better. See how that's cut? You're gonna put a slit there so that you can get around the corner. Otherwise, you'll never get the welt to go around the corner. And you're gonna do the same thing with your box piece. When you get to the corner on your boxing, you're gonna do the same thing with your boxing. Okay, so here's the top. Here's the bottom of my cushion. I've got my boxing pieces cut out and I added on uh, two short pieces so that it'll make it all the way to the corners of this uh, cushion top. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark my top and bottom piece, uh, mark the centers and mark the centers of the boxing so that once I sew this piece here, I can line up the top piece on the other side and I know if for sure that it's centered. So the way that I do that is I fold this box piece directly in half and then, okay, so you see it's folded directly in half. These are the, the ends here. And then this is the fold. And on the fold, I'm just gonna cut a little V-notch in that. So you see that? v-notch that I cut there and I'm going to do the same thing on my cushion top. So I'm going to line up my welt and it's not a bad idea to go ahead and do this um, before you put your welt on but I didn't. So I'm going to line up the corners of my welt perfectly, fold it like that, make sure that your corners stay even once you've folded this part and do the same thing here. Just cut out a little V-notch like that. Then you can line up the boxing V-notch to this V-notch and you know that this is going to make it to the edge evenly on both sides. And then when you do line up your top, you can just line up your top center of that cushion to this V-notch and you know that it's lined up this way because it can be difficult to, to make that match up if you haven't marked that. Okay, so now I'm going to just pin this onto my top piece, sew it, and then I'll pin this piece onto here and sew that and then we'll put the zipper on next. So let's do this. Okay, and so here I've gotten to the corner and so to get around this corner, I've got to notch this. You can either do a V-notch there or just put a slit there. Um, so what you wanna do, because you've got a half inch seam allowance, is come in a half an inch from this edge, which is about right here. Just put a snip there and then it'll open up around that corner. And sometimes you might need to put another snip or two just to ease it around that corner a little bit better. And I like to put a pin right in the corner because um, it just makes sewing easier. Okay, you see how that... All right. Okay, the other thing that's helpful to do when you're doing the boxing part is to go ahead and put a neat V-notch in the other side so that when you put the top piece on, um, not only can you match up the center line here, but if you make sure that the corners are matching up exactly, then you know that your cushion's gonna be nice and square. 
because if you don't have the corners lined up on the top and the bottom and let's say the top piece the corner ends up lining up right here your cushion's going to be all off square and that's no good so the way that you can do that and you can do this at your machine while you're sewing too um, is just make sure that you've got this right here in the corner see how that you can just see it and you can fold and see how that is but go ahead and Put a small v-notch there so that you know that's the corner on that one and same here so that you make sure that these are lined up as well okay so all right now i'm gonna i've got this all pinned on now i'm gonna go ahead and pin on the top so i can just sew both on at the same time Okay, so here we are at my sewing machine. I've got my zipper foot on here. You can use the zipper foot and just run the um, foot right next to the welt, or you can use a welt foot, that, which goes right over the top of the welt. Um, one tip that I suggest is buying a either upholstery weight thread or just a strong thread um, for cushions because there is a lot of pressure on these seams on cushions. So you don't wanna use a weak, cheap thread. Use a good quality, strong thread. So, and one of the things that I do sometimes is I use my scissors and really push that fabric down next to the welt so that I get a nice tight, stitch there. Sometimes if my nails are long, your nails will work, but mine are not. So, And the corners are really where you want to use something to make sure that you get your stitch in nice and close so it helps to push that fabric down next to the weld cord on the corners. So my pins are a little bit farther out and I can just sew past them. I'm not sewing over them. I'm sewing on the inside of the pins. The scissors help to move the pins out of the way. Okay, so I've got my cushion cover all sewn together minus just the zipper placket. So I like to have my zipper come around my corners just a little bit so that the back of my cushion opens all the way up. Um, I don't like for my zipper to end uh, inside here because it makes it really difficult to stuff your cushion inside of there you can do it if if you make if you get a zipper that's short of making it around the corners it's fine you just have to be careful stuffing your cushion in okay so when you're putting your boxing on you want to have a little bit of extra boxing around the edges so that you can create a little pocket here and I'll show you what I mean you want to make sure that you have your centers marked with your notches notched out and I showed you how to do your centers at the before. So, okay, so the first thing that I do is, of course, your zipper is going to be in like this because that's the right side and the, the inside is the right side. And you're going to pin together the zipper placket to the boxing so that we can take it to the sewing machine and sew. You're going to do both sides. Just go ahead and pin both sides together. Okay, and we're gonna just sew straight across there. All right, and once that's sewn, we'll pretend like we already sewed that, you are going to line up your centers. So line up those Vs, pin that. 
Line up this V and pin that. And then just pin all the way to your edges or to your sides. We'll do the same up here and I'll show you what happens when we get to this corner. It creates a little pocket for you to be able to, so that your zipper pull is kind of hidden. Okay, so you see you've got that. Now what you do is that flap there, you're just gonna fold that over and pin that down. Now this needs to be sewn already. You gotta sew that part there before you do this. And that gets you around that corner. Now we're gonna put a little notch here so that when we flatten it out, so that when we flatten it out, we can sew around that corner. But you see how that takes your zipper right around the corner. And what that creates for you is this little pocket. You see that? See how the zipper comes around the corner and that little fold creates this little pocket. So that's what you'll end up with once this is sewn. See that got around the corner there. And then there's that little pocket there that that's going to create and it hold and it hides the end of your zipper. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just continue to pin down. And look, so When I get to my sewing machine, I'll take this out and so this pocket's a little bit deeper than the other side just because that side was uneven. So you may want to even so see how that see how that works and it creates a little pocket there and it'll hide that zipper pull. So then we're just gonna go to the sewing machine and sew sew that in. Now, important thing before you sew this in, make sure you open your zipper up a little bit. Um, because otherwise you'll sew it all shut and you won't be able to get a hold of that. So just open your zipper up like so it's out of that pocket area. You know what I mean? Otherwise it's going to be tucked into the pocket area. You won't be able to get a hold of the pull. And if it's flattened, it'll be locked. So just open it like six inches so you can get in there or so you can get in this way and do that. If it's stuck in that pocket, you'll be, you'll be stuck. Okay, so let's take that to the sewing machine and sew that up. And then you can be done or you can serge all of your edges. That's always a good idea. Serge all your edges and um, you're, you're done. That's, that's it. Stuff your cushion in. Okay, so that's it for cushion making and that's my process. There's a lot of different ways you can make cushions, y'all. I have a few extra steps in my process because I don't have a commercial sewing machine with a walking foot. I've just got a home sewing machine. Um, I do have a walking foot, but my walking foot is only really good for quilting. I don't have a, um, I can't put a zipper foot on it, so I can't sew next to welt. So if you're making cushions without welt, you could use your home sewing machine walking foot and that would be very helpful and it would eliminate having to pin everything. But that's why I have to pin everything together because without a walking foot, you get that shift in your fabric, your top fabric and your bottom fabric, and you're gonna have a wonky cushion if you don't pin it all together. So. This is uh, definitely geared for home sewing machines, not commercial. So if you're watching this and you have a home sewing machine, you can do this project. It takes a little bit longer than if you had a commercial machine, but you can do it. So see you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, y'all. Bye.